What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and Apple has released 7th beta of WatchOS 10 yesterday. For public beta testers, this is your beta 5. Along with this, Apple has also released iOS 17 beta 7, iPadOS 17 beta 7, macOS Sonoma beta 6, tvOS 17 beta 7, HomePod software 17 beta 6, and Xcode 15 beta 7. For added convenience, I provided timestamps below so you can skip to any point that you want in this video. In this video, we will be discussing what has changed inside of watchOS 10, along with the final release date. So for me, the update came in at 161 megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 8 right here, but this update isn't really big. But there are a couple of changes that I could talk to you about. If we take a look at our settings, and then scroll down to general, and then about, our build number here, 21R5349B. So we have a B at the end of the build number, which indicates that Apple has compiled this build two times before they got it right. There's a common misconception that B is saying how smooth it is. This is not what it means here. It means how many times Apple has compiled it or else every single final beta would have an A at the end of the build number. The first one is with the Snoopy watch face. I personally don't use it myself, but I was told that there are a couple of new Snoopy animations here. I'm not sure what exactly are new, but there are a couple of brand new ones inside of this beta right here. Uh, once again, I'm not sure which ones are new, but if you could tell me which ones are new, that would be great down in the description below. I don't think I've ever seen this one right here. If it is new, please let me know down below. Another change is with the home menu. Apple has reduced the haptics a little bit when scrolling on the home menu right here. This is what it was before the animations went scrolling through here. Now, when we go to here, feel a different haptic. I can't really show you this, but trust me, the haptic is very different. It is a little less force, but it feels very nice. But other than that, there is nothing else inside of watchOS 10 feature-wise. However, I noticed that this update has been very snappy and very smooth, especially with one of the features here. So if I were to go to my control center on my iPhone and ping the watch, there used to be a little delay, but the delay has gotten very small. It is pretty much instant when I tap on the button in the control center on my iPhone. It is really nice that Apple has continued to improve on that. Now, in my experience with WatchOS 10, it is very great. I really like it a lot. Now, first, the beta one, I did not like it, mostly because of the control center change being the worst one right here. But I've gotten used to it. I don't really scroll up anymore. I just press the button. And in fact, I'm actually liking this change now. And I'll be sure to make a video about this before updating to watch OS 10. Stay tuned for that. Battery life seems to be great so far. Now it is low because I updated this morning while in school. It was indexing a little bit, so and I also did a pretty big workout for cross country. So keep in mind when you see that the battery is pretty low here, it is because of usage. But it lasts the entire day still. That is the only thing that we really care about with battery. And I have no more complaints about watchOS 10. All the bugs for me have been fixed. Pressing the button in the control center to ping your Apple Watch is a lot faster. It is a lot more fluid. I personally can't wait to see how watchOS 10 is seen. Now, at first, I think people are going to be like, oh, where's watchOS update? Because I have to press the button instead of swiping up to get to my control center. Yeah, I think that's what the reaction is going to be at first. But after a while, people are going to be like, oh, this is a lot better pressing the button to go into the control center. Also, some people might miss the home screen. This is just what I'll see as watchOS 10 because missing the old home screen, which was pretty iconic for the Apple Watch, completely changed it inside of this beta. Now, what can we expect next from Apple? I'm gonna say that if we go into our calendar app right here, we're gonna get one more beta. Hopefully, Apple could fix any other remaining issues here, which there aren't really any more issues here. It will just be really nice to see the smoothest watchOS version yet. However, it is very smooth for me. I'm able to run with this just fine. Upload everything to Strava, Siri go away. And then after that, we're not gonna see a beta next week. We're gonna see an RC probably on the 13th or 12th right here. And then the final release, I would bet my money, would come out on the 18th. Now, should you install WatchOS 10 Beta 7 on your main device if you are still on WatchOS 9? Yeah, go right ahead. Because this feels like a pretty solid release. This doesn't feel like a beta, and I just feel like Apple's just making sure that there are no more issues. This could also be the final beta, but I think there'll be one more beta to fix out any other remaining issues, which will probably be very minor. 
if there are any. Now, if you like to stay knowledge with everything Apple, you can join my Discord server down below. And also, please subscribe. We are very, very close to 1,000 subscribers. Please like, comment, and share this with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!